going right now to Devlin Barrett in Washington, D.C. Devlin, uh, what do we know about these suspects and how long was this plot in the works? According to uh, court papers that were just filed, uh, this plot was in the works for a number of months and the group had been unknowingly penetrated by a paid informant who then uh, ended up steering them when they started discussing uh, uh, obtaining explosives to someone who was an undercover FBI agent who provided essentially inoperable explosives to them. And we were looking at some of the pictures of the, the suspects who were arrested. Uh, they all look roughly in their sort of 20s to 30s. Any connection with the Occupy Wall Street movement that we know of, Devlin? Well, it's interesting because the case seems to start when officials start, start hearing talk that there may be violence per perpetrated by protesters involved in the Occupy protests in Cleveland. And they end up focusing in on, on a small group of guys who, according to the court papers, uh, sit, the government says, uh, these guys were angry that the Occupy movement wasn't violent enough, that they weren't taking direct violent action. And so they decided to take action on their own. And while well, they discussed a whole number of scenarios, according to the court papers, they eventually set it, settled on blowing up a bridge to try and strike some kind of blow against American corporate interests in commerce. All right, the sting operation was being followed by the FBI. Let's hear right now from the U.S. attorney in Cleveland about these arrests. These defendants, uh, in the, as, as charged in the complaint that's before you, uh, made numerous different decisions to act, one after the other after the other. That's uh, one of the reasons that they stand charged here. Uh, and that's one of now, the reasons. Now, Devlin, this was an undercover FBI operation. Do you know how long they had been following the suspects in this plot to bomb a bridge in Cleveland? It had been going on for months, and it's sort of the, a lot of the more serious discussions and activity in, in the alleged plot went on in the last two months. And, you know, these cases often hinge on can you convince the jury that these, the, the suspects had true malice in their hearts and genuinely wanted to harm people because, as always, what usually happens in these instances is the defense will eventually argue that this was essentially a made and manufactured government plot that without the government, the intervention of government informants and undercover agents, you never would have had a, a conspiracy or a plot to attack anything. But on the government side, you have a long hours of recorded conversations, and it's clear that they have a lot of recorded conversations in this case. And these five suspects do in federal court in Cleveland later today, I believe. Devlin, let's talk about motive for a minute. I mean, does there seem to be any connection at all coming up on the anniversary of uh, the finding and the killing of Osama bin Laden? No. Uh, authorities are very careful to point out that they don't believe this is in any way related to, you know, a known terror group or the bin Laden anniversary. What they say is that this was about, these were essentially self-described anarchists. I know it seems a little strange to hear that term in, in current day usage, but it is part of the undercurrent, maybe a very small undercurrent of, of the Occupy conversation. And I, I think what you see in the, in the court papers, what they paint is a picture of folks who wanted to take it take the argument well beyond protest and into a, an era of violent action. And they wanted to lash out at, uh, according, to the, according to the court papers, they wanted to lash out at corporate America. Um, they wanted to hurt, you know, things that they thought would hurt the power structure. Attacking, I mean, some of the possible targets included everything from a Klan office, a Ku Klux Klan office, to a government anti-terror center. Uh, to, to a bridge or a train, and as, according to the feds, they ended up settling on a bridge.